Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve an internet connection issue where you are unable to connect to a proxy server. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer into safe mode. How we're going to do this is we're going to go to the start menu. We're going to left click on power and then while holding down the shift key left click on restart so hold down the shift key and then left click on restart at the same time there are different ways to get in the safe mode this is just what I have found to be one of the easier ones okay so under choose an option we want to left click on troubleshoot left click on advanced options left click on startup settings now we want to click on restart now we want to click on F5 this will launch safe mode with networking Now if we have a password on this computer, we have to type it in. Okay, so now we are in safe mode. Now we want to right click on the start button. Left click on run. Now we want to type in reg edit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Then left click on OK gonna blow this up full screen here now we want to go underneath the directory H key current user so left click on this little arrow now we want to click on the little arrow next to software now the one next to Microsoft now we want to go down here let me just make this window a little bit wider so we want to go down to Windows click on this little arrow then click on the little arrow next to current version. Now we want to left click on internet settings. Now we want to delete proxy enable and proxy server. So under proxy enable you can either click on the delete key on your keyboard or right click on it and left click on delete. We want to confirm that we want to delete that and then this one named proxy server right click on that left click on delete you sure you want to delete it yes now we can close out of this and we can restart our computer log back into our computer here and if we try and go back onto the internet and we try and go to google.com we see that we are good to go so I hope this tutorial helped you out and I will see you in the next video goodbye